Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna give you the five best no-code apps that you can use to launch your next startup. Let's go. All right, so it's really good to have you all here. I'm very excited for today's video, and here's why. We're gonna be talking about three things today. Firstly, I'm gonna break down what the no-code revolution is. This is a buzz term that's been going around forever, probably all the way back to me being in college is the first time I heard it. And you know, it's kind of a weird term. So what does it mean? We're gonna break that down. Secondly, I'm gonna go into the five most foundational, most important apps kind of driving the no-code revolution. These are gonna be the apps that you can use to help build your next startup. And then lastly, I'm going to kind of put all these tools together, these five apps, and I'm gonna tell you how you can use all of them in unison to build a cohesive business model for your next startup. So let's roll. All right, so what is the no-code revolution? Well, it's kind of right there in the name. The no-code revolution is just a new wave in technology and business that lets people like you and me who don't know how to code and who don't want to learn how to code build different applications, enterprise-ready solutions, SaaS products without having to learn to develop software. So there's all these tools out there now that let us build applications and different software without having to teach ourselves over years and years and years how to code. So it's really awesome for us. It helps us get our businesses up and running much quicker than it used to. So all these developers are kind of opening up this new world for us, non-developers, and they're saying, hey, come on, let's go, let's do this together. So that's why we're here to follow their lead and start to build these cool products. All right, so yeah. let's switch gears now and actually talk about the five most foundational no-code tools that you can use to build your business. Here's the first one. If you've been watching this channel at all over the last few months, you know I'm a sucker for Webflow. Now, what is Webflow? Webflow, for all you newbies out there, Webflow is the best no-code solution for building websites currently on the market. It is incredible. Instead of learning how to write HTML, CSS, JavaScript for your interactions and animations, throw all that out the door and just teach yourself how to use Webflow because in Webflow, you don't need any of that. You drag and drop and you code visually on the page in front of you. It's genius and it's beautiful and I love it. I love it like a child. So Webflow is really leading the no code charge in website development. So if you have a project and you need a home page, you need a landing page, some website to capture leads or sales or anything like that, Webflow is gonna be the solution for you. Now there is a steep learning curve with Webflow, but again, it's not as steep as it would be to actually teach yourself how to code all these different languages and have them talk to each other to build an actual sustainable website. Now I have a video that's gonna be linked up here that will show you how to learn Webflow the fastest, so click on that if you wanna get into Webflow. It's super awesome. But the summary here is, if you need a website and you don't know how to code, Webflow is really the solution for you. Now, All right, so let's dive a little bit deeper now into the no-code movement. What is our second tool going to be? Well, our second tool is something called Bubble. Now, whereas Webflow kind of let you build your outer layer of your website, your landing page, your facade for your business, Bubble is gonna actually let you build your software, your application, your SaaS product from scratch without needing to learn how to code. Now, full transparency, Bubble is very difficult to learn. It takes a long time. You need to be pretty good at logic and kind of understanding how these systems talk to each other. But if you can get over that initial hump, you can build basically anything, any different type of software or product that you want in Bubble without needing to learn any software languages. It's incredibly, incredibly powerful. There are countless stories out on the internet of people who have no background in software development hopping into Bubble, building some sort of CRM solution or some sort of invoicing solution or some sort of inventory management solution for businesses and selling them as recurring subscription models and they're millionaires now. This is an incredibly powerful tool that if you are able to harness, you could really make a lot of money. So Bubble is number two. All right, so let's take another step down the ladder of the no-code movement. Let's move down one more rung and let's talk about an app called Airtable. Airtable arguably could have started and launched the no-code revolution. Why? Well, Airtable, it's kind of hard to describe. If you've ever used Excel, it's similar, but it's much more powerful. It's set up kind of like a spreadsheet, but on the backside, you're building relational databases. What does this mean? Well, this is just a way that you can store your data and have them all connected and linked to each other and talking to each other. So if you ever need to pull one field 
and link that to another field, you can. There's logic built into that. Now, what does this allow you to do? Why is this so powerful? It seems kind of confusing. Well, once you're able to store your data relationally with each other, then you can build unlimited different solutions inside of Airtable for your business. So people build CRM solutions where they track their clients. They build inventory solutions where they can track different units and where they're stored, et cetera, and where they're shipping to, et cetera, et cetera. People build project management tools, internal tools that you can track tasks, you can track the people you work with, what are they working on, what are the calls they've made. Basically, the applications here are endless and you don't need to know how to code to do any of it. You hop into Airtable, you set up your fields, you set up your databases, you link them, and then there's all these different solutions, all these third-party apps that you can also connect to create these business solutions for you. It's almost limitless in the customization and the products that you can build for yourself inside of Airtable. Let's keep it moving and let's go to the fourth no-code tool, kind of leading the charge of the no-code revolution. This app is one called Zapier or Zapier. I don't know how it's said, who cares? This is one of my favorites, guys. Zapier, I'm gonna call it that. Write me in the comments if that's incorrect, but Zapier is kind of the middleman between all of your different apps that you're using to run your business on. So if you're using Facebook ads and you're using Shopify and you're using a CRM, you can use Zapier to connect all of those into one automated, cohesive business workflow. Zapier lets you link API to API on different apps so that they are able to talk to each other and automate processes for you, or processes, however you wanna say it, and let you just run your business more smoothly. So for example, I made a video a couple weeks ago, uh, maybe it's a couple months ago now actually, about connecting Webflow, which is our first tool we talked about today, to a newsletter app called Review, where every time I captured a lead or a, a submission form inside of Webflow, a subscriber would automatically be added in my review software, my review app. I wouldn't have to do any of that. I didn't, the manual process is just cut out completely because I set up Zapier for these two apps to talk to each other. Now, the applications here are also almost limitless and you don't need to know how to code or link APIs at all. You hit a couple buttons, it's super easy, it's super clean, and it's actually, it's kind of fun. It's like you're putting a puzzle together, which I love puzzles, so. You know, it's awesome. Zapier is really, really awesome. So now our fifth and final no-code tool that we're gonna be talking about today is an app called Notion. Now you've probably heard of Notion. It's blowing up in the last few months. Notion is basically, it's a glorified note-taking app. Now, I chose to include it in this video because I think once your business starts to grow, Notion is a great way to keep track of your tasks and keep track of meeting notes and scheduling notes and all sorts of things that can almost serve as a source of truth for your team as your team begins to grow and you need to start building out different processes and structures to keep your business together. Notion can serve as the glue of your business. You don't need to know any code at all to use it like other project management apps. You just take notes, you can organize things very clearly and just have a clear goal and pathway forward for your business. So Notion is awesome, it's incredibly simple, but that's why I enjoy it so much. So I just give you five no-code apps that you as a non-software developer could use to launch your next startup. But Alex, you threw way too much at us right there. What am I supposed to do with all of this? Great, you gave me five different tools. Uh, what do I do with them? Don't worry, I'm gonna tell you what I would do right now if you're starting a startup in 2022. So here's what I would do. I would start off in Bubble, building out some sort of SaaS product, some sort of software that helps different businesses make their workflows more efficient. So maybe something like an invoice tracker, something like that, maybe a CRM. Go niche with it, find an industry you like, and then build some sort of SaaS product within that niche. And I would do all of that in Bubble. Now, once you have your product made, I would go into Webflow and I would build out a gorgeous website with a beautiful landing page that can help you capture leads and convert sales. You could use templates for this if you wanted to get something up quickly. Uh, those are extra in Webflow, but a lot of them are absolutely gorgeous and they'll be pre-made for you. And there's a lot of great software websites for you. So I would link your Bubble product with Webflow and I would start capturing leads and sales in Webflow forms and try to start converting sales for your product that you're selling as a recurring revenue, as some sort of subscription plan. Now with all that data you're collecting in Webflow via form submissions or other like Google Pixel tracking or whatever, I would automatically send all of that data to Airtable via Zapier. So I would link 
Webflow with Airtable via Zapier and I'd have all that data automatically just going all the way to Airtable where you can store all of that good data in databases, structure your data how you best see fit and then build reporting tools inside of Airtable so you can start to see business insights. You can start to decide, oh, maybe I should be targeting these people because I see this in this chart. There's some sort of trend here, some sort of KPI that's flashing over here. Get all of that into Airtable and start reporting on it and start building out the foundation of your business with all that data in Airtable. And then the cherry on top, I would just use Notion, maybe even starting out to start keeping track of your tasks, deadlines, and any team members that you add just to keep a track internally of your project. That's what I would do. That's how I would use all five apps cohesively in a business model in 2022. So let me know if you like that idea. Again, the no code revolution is changing the way that you and me, non-software developers can launch businesses. If we can go into tools and products like Bubble and build software without having to go to school and learn how to code, the, the possibilities are endless. I mean, you, we could talk about this for the next four months if we wanted to. Um, I've boiled this down into probably a 10 to 15 minute video. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I think there was a lot of good value there. At least I'm hoping so. Let me know down in the comments if you agree. Let me know if you think that this business model could work for you. Also, let me know if you're building anything cool. Maybe I could help out. Um, so get down in the comments. I'd love to interact with you all. Uh, if you like this video, please give me a like. Go smash that like button. That would be awesome. And if you want to see more content like this in the future, consider subscribing. That would also be phenomenal. Thank you all for being here. I look forward to chatting with you down in the comments below. And I will see you all next week. Peace.